Hey, Aquarius. Welcome to your tape. You're probably the weirdest person in the zodiac other than Pisces, which is saying a lot because Pisces is pretty freaking weird. They're either replicating the alien that kidnapped them, or they are the alien that kidnapped people. It's one of it's one of the two. They're very awkward folk. I work with the majority of water signs, I just now realize that. No wonder I can't learn. So, Aquarius, you are very much innovative. Like, you're the kind of person who will fuck a homeless man on the bench just because, like, the sex would be unique, you know? You're, you're, you're that kind of people. You're like the original hoe, you know? It's doing crazy shit. Like, that's just how you are. You guys like uniqueness. You like things to be different. Some of you could just be completely psychotic and you have no idea what's going to your heads or what they're going to do in there that random. And... Whatever, and then you gotta be careful with them because some of them can be nuts. I actually know an Aquarius who is nuts. And then she looks at me like I'm evil and then wonders why things keep happening to her. And that's neither here or there. I gave away the cat anyway. And that's a different story. Okay, you ready? Okay, Aquarius. Chariot. The. Six of Cups, the Three of Heart, three of, three of Swords, Reverse, you're the only one to have gotten that so far. Judgment. That's new. Wheel of Fortune, once again, Upside Down, and the Emperor, Upside Down, and the theme is, oops, the theme is the... Seven of Swords, but reverse, which means, um, you're gonna have some success, but it's not gonna be permanent. <clears throat> definitely not permanent. Like, you'll get somewhere, but it's not gonna last for long, so you're definitely gonna have to modify as you go. Yes, I need to let your guard down a little bit and stop worrying about having to go somewhere, too. Because that's what those just told me. I won't tell you which cards they are, because you have a tendency to be more curious than what you should be. I know that's going to drive some of you nuts, but that's okay. Um, okay, so the chariot. You know, you're able to win your battles. You feel like you're a victor. You're also going to your memories in the Six of Cups. You are... That's what you want, to look back at things with a happy state of mind. What you fear, though, is... The Three of Swords Reverse, which is kind of like, you know, heartbreak. In the worst possible way. Well, maybe not in the worst possible way, but it definitely doesn't look um, very kindly on me. You know. Do I have my book? No, I probably lost my book somewhere upstairs. Uh, we also have Judgment. As in, you're making a decision about something, or you already have a decision about something. We also have the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse, which is what's going against you. Like, the Judgment's what's going on around you. Um, the Wheel of Fortune what's going against you. Like, the wheel is not turning, it's stuck, or it's about to... Uh, you're the second person who's had the wheel, or... Somebody else had the wheel reverse. I think a couple of people did. I think, like, either Sagittarius or Capricorn had a reverse somewhere. I don't think it was Capricorn. It might have been Sagittarius. Or even Scorpio. But a few people have gotten the, um, Wheel of Fortune reversed. Um, then we have the ending, the Emperor reversed, which is, like, lack of control or too much control, being a hypocrite, uh, any bad aspect of a leader's a ship position who does not know how to be a leader. It's like, I know there are bugs down here. Okay, let's see what you're clarifying. God damn it. Stop it. Just stop it. Because you're not helping. Okay. 
clarifying we have the lovers reversed <clears throat> the full that's appropriate um the three of cups oh my god dude the eight of cups reversed the seven of pentacles the Four of Pentacles, and the ending theme is the Hierophant. Jesus. Looking for some control? Like, what is this? Taurus? Tauruses? I don't think Taurus and Aquarius got along very well, but. Not wanting to change. That's a big thing with Taurus, too. Things stay the same according to order. Um. Okay, so with Cherry Ray. You feel like you're in control, but I also think you know that there's some disharmony going around, right? Like, there's a disunion possibly happening here. And, like, Aquarius are not ones to be, um, they don't like clingy people. They don't, they don't like clingy people at all. They don't like anybody that clings to them, as far as I'm aware, from what I've learned about them. They don't like people who cling to them, but they have a hard time letting people go who they care about. So I feel like maybe you're being victorious in this, but you're kind of using whatever union you're in to be very despondent towards that person. Like, what you want, like, you miss the, um, the adventures of the fool. That's what the memories are for. I think, I think you miss your younger dears where, like, you go on weird travels and everything. Um, you have this fear of, like, a third wheel coming in. And then a third wheel comes in. You know, like, talk about, like, a fair find something for you right there. Um, not only the heartbreak of a third wheel, but possibly a third wheel coming in. Like, are you guys cheating or are you afraid someone's cheated on you? And that's why you're kind of, like, feeling a little bit more, um, like, are you feeling a bit controlling in your relationship? And that's why they're disharmony and you're afraid of a third party because you're not really taking care of the person that you're with right now. Um, you got the Eight of Cups reversed, which, you know, great joy moving forward and stuff and enjoying it. With the Judgment card, like, maybe you're determined. You've decided that no matter what, you're going to have a good time. Even if you have to leave something you really cared about behind. Um, but then we got the Wheel of Fortune reversed. With the Seven of Pentacles reverse, which is like, I feel like you guys feel stuck somewhere because you didn't put enough of the work in. Like, the work you did put in was pretty shitty. Like, looking at overgrown weeds and things just like taking over the place. Like, I feel like with the Hierophant, you didn't want to change anything almost. <clears throat> And then with the Emperor in reverse, with that lack of control and trying to hold on to whatever it is with the Four of Pentacles, right? Like, are you trying to hang on to some sort of control that you're lacking right now? Like, do you feel like the wheel is falling out of your favor and no matter what you do, you're never going to get back to the position of having something. And, you know, you gotta leave and it, it, you gotta go. Like, you're not welcome anymore. Like, you know, you're following the old ways of what you used to, you know? Like, that's kind of how I feel like you guys are about to go into. I feel like you guys are about to, um, travel into old territory you haven't been through again. And, like, you're getting motivated from your memories of how you used to be happy. Like, maybe this is a relationship where, like, the person didn't have a strong enough will to, um, put up with you of sorts, you know? Or maybe you just... Possibly you picked someone who was bad for you and you knew it, and but you were maybe kind of... Like, I feel like you felt victorious because you found somebody, but it wasn't the right match. That's why I feel. I feel like he came in victor... You feel victorious because you found someone to love you. And... But you... I, I, I get this feeling that you really didn't want to be in love with anybody. You just did it out of, um... I feel like you jumped in a relationship with someone you know you shouldn't have, and then you got attached. 
we didn't treat them as well as maybe you should have, or maybe they did it to you, or you know somebody, I don't know, this could not even be you either. I feel like somebody got in a relationship with somebody who they knew they didn't really want to be with, but they did it anyway, and then somebody ended up getting attached, and now they're afraid to like the lover they chose out of mediocrity and necessity rather than like want um is cheating on them and you know somebody made a decision that they're going to move on with great joy and stuff and instead of like really moving forward with some great joy they're like sitting there looking at all this work they put in and realizing it didn't mean anything And I feel like you gotta kind of hang on to the old ways because of the lack of control or generosity within the exchange of this. I, like, I don't know. If it makes sense to you guys, like, let me know because I don't know if I'm really doing these right anymore. Like, I feel like I'm burnt out from doing all these readings in one day. But, um, that's, that's what I kind of get with Aquarius. So, y'all have a good day.